first inoculations, you name it. And then, oh, California passed a law two years ago saying, we'll give your kids inoculations after age 11 if they say they want them because they are now free to make decisions. Really, to drink beer? Really, to have sex? No, they're not. And that's contributing to the delinquency of minors. It's the government saying they're the parents now. And it's so sick. And, and when you realize that a large cadre of the people we're fighting is a pedophile cult. And they've taken over the major churches, the Vatican, uh, the major universities, the major orphanages. It's a cult of pedophiles. That's what we face, folks. An army of pot-bellied pedophiles, as I said a decade ago. All right, folks. Good old British hell. That's what the New World Order is building worldwide. I am your host, Alex Jones. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, let me get back into the pedophile news, some of the other news, and I'm going to hit the Volkswagen news, which is just ultra gigantic, massive, which we already knew. But it's the very nature of the computerized, pre-programmed system. Under the new zeitgeist, we'll all live in giant dormitories, and the computer will decide our job and how much food we get. And that's what the Megaopolis TV ads they show in the UK and videos for kids say. The computer will decide what you're going to be and what you eat and where you go and how long you live. <gasps> yeah, but who programs the computer, dum-dum? Well, it's going to be, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great. So we're going to be looking into that. But first, I'm a pedophile, but not a monster. In fact, will you guys print me the Salon article itself? I want to read part of this on air later. The toll-free number to join us on air is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. Now, writing for Salon, Todd Nickerson says this. Isn't he brave coming out of the closet? Maybe he should be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Maybe she should get an ESPN award. I'm a pedophile, but not a monster. I'm attracted to children, but unwilling to act on it. Uh-huh. Before judging me harshly, would you be willing to listen? And this is exactly how the homosexual lobby started back in the 40s and 50s with articles in Reader's Digest saying the exact same thing. And then you could say, hey... That's adults, that's consenting, that's gone on forever? Absolutely. Homosexuals and pedophiles are two different categories, totally. But once the larger agenda, forget homosexuals, forget heterosexuals, forget any of these groups and labels. The larger globalist dehumanization, THX 1138, Brave New World, Brave New World Revisited, UNESCO, Worldwide Treaty Arrangement Agreement, is to end sexuality as we know it and make us asexual bots if they choose to even keep humanoids around. This debate was being held back in the 30s. So there's an attack on femininity, there's an attack on masculinity, there's an attack on the species, and there's a revolution of women, I've noticed, waking up to this more than even men. And there's a major trying to get back to the true nature of humanity and how empowering it is. Not the twisted roles that certainly were there under classical male masculinity, feminine, femininity. The god, the goddess, the archetypes. <clears throat> but the people that crave power, crave control, the Sanduskies that get control of major departments and then are protected by the school and rape children in broad daylight in the middle of the field house in the showers. A field house at a major university during the day, seven days a week, is like an anthill. And now it's come out there were cover-ups, and that Sandusky Foundation was supplying children statewide. But see, it's too big to fail, because if that ever comes out, the whole university goes down and the billions that have been invested in it and the alumni, just like the Vatican. And that's why the globalist will place a pedophile cult in Congress, in a state house, 
in a school, in a university, in a religious institution, and within two generations, and I don't mean fully living out their lives but being born, within 40 years on average, they have a, a, an equation for it, it will take over the institution because something that horrible must be covered up. Something that horrible must not be spoken about. So they set the precedent. They break up the family. They send women to work. And I'm not saying in all cases, you know, that women shouldn't work. A woman wants to work. A woman's a brain surgeon, a scientist, a rocket scientist. Sure, women have always been doing that. But, but to force women into the roles that they weren't biologically designed in, again, is on record to enslave women. And to force the sexualization of children to say Heather has two mommies and you know, Stevie has two daddies and all of this is the school deciding to have sexual discussions with your children that you haven't even decided to have. If somebody walked up to your children at the park while you were off getting, say, tennis rackets out of the car, if a woman walked over, a man walked over to say your two daughters, ages seven and nine or five and six, and said, little girls, let me tell you about oral sex. Let me tell you about how to masturbate. You would be arrested for contributing to the delinquency of minors and attempting a sexual act with a child. You'd spend five years in jail in most states. <clears throat> now, if I caught you doing it, you'd probably spend the rest of your life in a coma if you were lucky. And that's not talk. It's really easy to beat somebody's brains out when you want to. You just decide to do it. Humans have a governor. You get in a fight with me, I don't have a governor. I, if, I, if you're hurting me or hurting my children, I will decide to hurt you. I will will it. I will punch you in the throat, and then you can drown on your own blood. And people say, that sounds evil and hateful. No, it doesn't. It's the right spirit against this type of garbage. You keep your filthy hands off our kids, you perverts. And that goes for those medical perverts that want to inject them with all these deadly vaccines. Hell, you've already gone from 1 in 25,000 having autism to 1 in 58. Aren't you proud enough of what you already done? Keep your dirty, filthy hands out of our families, you scum, you control freaks. Normal people don't want to run other people's lives. Normal people have their own world. Normal people are so successful and happy, they got too many friends. You people are a bunch of trash. I'm a pedophile. Now, the New York Times will take that out of context. I am not a pedophile. I'm quoting uh, the White House Connected Group, Salon. And again, this is their next move. And I kept saying, they've now got the sexualization of children. They now are putting, the, you know, the transgender bathrooms in to totally turn school <clears throat> into a sexual conversion center over to the new system. So now I said the pedophilia will be rolled out. I said it last week in three different reports, one of them at Facebook mentions. I'm a pedophile, he writes, but not a monster. I'm attracted to children, but unwilling to act on it. Before judging me harshly, you should be willing, would you be willing to listen? And now you get to hear all about it. Yet you're attracted to children because you never got sexually developed properly. You're attracted to children because you're a sick freak who wants to feed off their energy. You should be attracted to help children and build them up and nurture them. You should be attracted to defending them like I'm attracted to wanting to get my hands around your throat. I'm attracted to you now, do you understand that? But not the way you... Just imagine, that blow, just... Ah, the jaw, jaw break, ah, yeah. Watch that evil fall to the ground. Ah. Excuse me, I shouldn't even be on air today reading this. I just, I saw this last night. And I already knew it was all coming, but oh, now we're going to be pedophobes. I mean, just, you know, pedophile phobes. Uh, oh, God help us. They're never going to stop. They're such, they're going to put drugs in the food and water more intense where we barely can resist. I mean, it's just so evil. Everybody's going to be dying of cancer all around us just with potbelly pedophiles hopping around like it's a Super Mario Brothers, you know, grabbing our children, giggling, <laughs> bouncing onto the next with SWAT teams defending them as they just pick which kids they want.
and his giant third world hordes just pour in raping everyone's just sexualizing our children ruling everything debasing the currency drugging the food and water giving everyone cancer and just dancing to their god of death selling body parts chopping up babies that battle the scalpel i mean it's just it's just on hell on earth the gates are opening and out will flood the armies Out will flood the armies of hell. And no film can even imagine their true depths of depravity. Because it goes beyond the pedophilia. It goes down to child sacrifice. Every culture in its decline ends up sacrificing children. Ends up debasing. Because the gods of death, the god of this world, wants the flesh of children. And if they can't get away with torturing your child in a subterranean pit for two months and sucking their soul out as they beg for mommy, they'll rape them instead and no one will protect your children once they get in full control. And they send out their useful idiot minions. They sell why they're different. Oh, it's just my proclivity. It's just what I'm into, they say. I'm attracted to children, accept me, be liberal. And then it's going to be, now you must adopt it. Now you must give your children to us, they say. And then it'll be, we need pedophiles in the military. Watch, I'm not kidding. I'm not being sardonic. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm not engaged in... Literary satire here. This is real. The New World Order is real. Its plan is real. It's people that desire to do things that are destructive because it's their cult. It's their sacrament. It's their religion. I want to go to phone calls, and then I will... Uh, at the start of the hour, get into the Volkswagen scandal widens. <laughs> I saw this story a few days ago and didn't even really mention it because so much stuff I already know. So I have a blind spot where I just see and go, oh, of course. And then later I think, that's really big. That'll illustrate things to the sheeple. And hopefully we can talk about it and get our listeners to go out and wake up some more sheeple. 11 million cars have a computer algorithm that knows when the car is up on the blocks being tested and knows when the computer handshakes with it. And at that point, it then fakes the emissions. <laughs> and, and, and that's the nature of your smartphone, the nature of your smart meters. I mean, I remember Enron was bragging in the late 90s before they got caught in all their other criminal operations because they went too far. They always go too far. They're not invincible. <laughs> with Al Gore involved, uh, they said, we're going to have computers and everything, and we're going to tax you more when you use your power, and we're even going to control your thermostat. And so we warned people about it, and they had San Francisco Chronicle articles and New York Times articles saying we were insane. There was no plan to control and charge you more at peak times with smart meters or to turn your power on and off or reduce it. And, of course, it's now all being announced, all being done. They told you it'd be another 20 years till driverless cars. They're now launching all over the country. Totally gamed. They're going to get half the roads. You're going to pay for it and subsidize it. They're going to totally screw you over. Uh, Rahm Emanuel's brother basically is going to run the whole franchise. And that's just the way it is. Because we lay down. It's called smart. It's cute. It's funny. And they're going to raise your insurance until you can't afford to drive your regular car. It's all about control. All the major German manufacturers... The Japanese manufacturers are coming out saying, yes, we will have smart systems with cameras watching everything you do. And if you look upset or too tired or your kids, it's too hot in the car or whatever, it will then activate the police to the threat fusion center and start sending everything to the police. This is announced seven years ago by Toyota. And you pay for all this tech being put in your car and then it games everything you do where you go. I mean... 70 years ago, folks, Ford and Chevy had carburetors that went 100 miles to the gallon and gave you 300 horsepower. They stifle real innovation and then give us scam junk in the name of innovation.
because we're such innovators. We're about to innovate away from the elite with incredible singularity of manufacturing medicine technology and then humans. And here's, I'm about to give it to you right now. This is the big secret. Humans will blossom and spread to the stars. It is going to be spectacular. I mean, I can feel the race consciousness of humanity 